You have in your country 7.8 million more women than men. If every man in America got married, there will be still 7.8 million women who will not be able to get husbands. And when the lights go out, it's you, babe. Every time I'm down, it's you, babe. Hey, yo, what's up? So everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy jesse keegan and we are fun in jesse so right about now we're gonna do another reaction video before we get into the reaction guys i want to thank everybody who's been subscribing to our channel you guys are really amazing thank you so much we're about to get to 13,000 subscribers you guys are really amazing thank you thank you keep on subscribing and keep on giving us suggestions and also want to thank the people who've been commenting in the comment section below you guys are really amazing and if you have any kind of reaction video just listen let us know in the comment section below we if you're new to this channel we are finding jesse we do any kind of reaction video just let us know of any reaction video that you want us to do and we're gonna do it for you and so today 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 we're gonna do another reaction video and this one was suggested by a lot of people as usual and they say that we should go react to islam question and answer sheikh ahmed did that so um i don't know what's the question and what's the answer so we're gonna figure out maybe in a few minutes so without any further ado guys let's get it next question the lady over here hi um i just wanted to ask you um if you can just talk briefly um about how they say that a man can have four wives can you just um because it does sound very sexist so i just want to talk about that <laughs> it's a little bit off the subject well, lady would like to know how can a man have four wives. I think it's a little bit off the subject. You'll answer. Okay. Well, the shake will answer you, even though it is a little bit off the topic. <laughs> now, this is the pet question. You know, when the Arabs, when they go to America or to Britain, the Westerner says, you come from Saudi Arabia? I said, yes. So how many wives have you got? <laughs> <laughs> How many wives have you got? So my friend, a Baka, not a Baka, Karim, Karim Biladin, a young man, he says, you see, when he goes to America, when the Americans pose this question to him, he says, he says, he says, look, I got only one wife. But this is a solution to your problem. This polygamy is a solution to your problem. You see, sir, you have a problem. You have in your country 7.8 million more women than men. If every man in America got married, there will be still 7.8 million women who will not be able to get husbands. And we know every man will never marry. Man gets old feet for so many reasons. You know that? I meet a young man. How old are you? He says, 35. Are you married? He says, no. I say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you need a doctor? Shall I take you to the doctor to find out? You know? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come on. I said, there is a friend of ours. You know, he's got a daughter, good looking, well educated, good family. Come. He's right. He's right. I take him along, and when he comes to the crunch, he finds some excuse to back out. He knows the reason. He won't tell me. That may be at the back of his mind, he won't make the grade, man. You know, he has done so many abuses, he's finished. That guy, so he finds excuse for not doing that. Man, 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 man gets cold feet for so many reasons. But more women, you know, somebody to give them protection. They don't mind a husband. They don't mind a husband. Even if they're frigid, they're cold. They don't mind somebody to give them protection. I'm telling you, this is the psychology of women. But we know. Every man will not hear. If, even if every man got married, there will be 7.8 million women without husbands in America. And <coughs> the manpower they have there, there are 25 million sodomites. You call them gays. Another 25 million women can't get husbands. <laughs> okay. Then your prison population, 98% are males. Your prison population, 98% are males. I said, your problem is getting compounded. Islam offers you a solution. You laugh at us. I said, the laugh is on you. The laugh is on you. 
Islam says, marry women of your choice by twos and threes and fours. But if you cannot do justice between them, marry only one. The only religious book on earth. The only religious book on earth which has the statement, marry only one is the Quran. There is no other book, religious book on earth which has such a statement. The Quran says, marry only one, if you can't do justice. Thank you very much. Last two questions. Bloody over here. Um, I've been told that women in Islam wear a veil because in this way men will treat them respectfully. Um, but I see the veil as a form of oppression because why should they have to cover themselves um, because of the weakness of men? Shouldn't they be treated with respect regardless? Could you please explain the veil and did Mary have to wear a veil? Madam, Madam, your Bible says, your Holy Bible says, you know, Paul, Paul, Paul is telling you, that the woman must cover her head, that the woman who doesn't cover her, shave off her hair. Your Bible says that. <laughs> the woman, the woman who bears her hair, says shave them off. Shave it off. That's what the Bible says. And you woman, the, your Bible says she must not be allowed to open her mouth in the church. But that's your churches, they don't believe all that. And your people don't believe in that. So you are inviting, <coughs> you know, because of this, in America, in New York, no woman is safe after dark. No woman is safe in France. During daytime, women have been raped in the street and people just walk by looking the fun. Say, oh, maybe they're enjoying themselves. Woman is being great. No, no. I said, you are inviting it. Look, this modesty, the nuns, the nuns, you know, the nuns, Roman Catholic Church, nobody gives them a second look. If Mary, the mother of Jesus, came along, you won't give her a second look. But my dear sisters, those women on your gold coast, that's a scarborough and all that with bikinis and tangas and G-strings, look. See. <laughs> <laughs> it's attracting <laughs> Look, even an old man like me I tell you my God. <laughs> if, if I went there I tell you I'll be burning inside <laughs> I'm telling you look, this is the nature of man God made us like that the thing that allures man more than anything on earthly existence is woman. Do you know that? I don't know you. The Quran says, the Quran says, Fear in the sight of men is the love of things they covet. Number one, women. Then sons. You know, I've got 11 sons. I can make my own football team. You know how... how the, you know, it makes me feel proud. I've got 11 sons, you know. My own football team, my own cricket team. Mm -hmm. Well, Benin, and number three. Well, Anatir al Mukantarad min al Zahabi al Fidda, and hoarded heaps of gold and silver, and wealthy land, and horses branded for excellence, and all this. This is the list that is given in the Quran. Number one, women. The Quran says, the thing that eludes man most on this earthly existence is woman. And I'm telling my Western friends that I don't have to prove that to you. I don't have to convince you. I said, you see, in my country, in the city of Durban, city of Durban, I think we'll end with this. We'll end with this. Okay? We'll end with this. In the city of Durban, there is a firm called Lucian Motors. They sell second-hand trucks. You know, lorries, lorries, trucks. You call them trucks here too? Trucks. We call them trucks. And on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. Then G Knox, they sell farm implements. And on the tractors that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking these Westerners, I say, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second hand truck or with a tractor? Except the man. You see, the woman is being Daniel so read the Edwards. And BMW, I don't know you have BMWs here. It's a motor car, it's a motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes Benz. I'm not in the market for it. 
You see, I started with the false Wachen Beetle, I did 120,000 miles, and I had to change for another Beetle, and another Beetle, and another Beetle. Then they stopped making the Beetle, you know the false Wachen Beetle. They start the golf, so I had to buy golf number one, golf number two. I'm still not in the market for a BMW, but I am forced to read this advert in my newspaper. I see a BMW motor car, and with a woman in the skimpy, skimpiest of bikini, what you call the tanga, you know the G-string. She, <laughs> she's standing in front of the motor car, and it's, it's written at the bottom, test drive her now. <laughs> Oh my God. <coughs> I'm asking, I'm asking the woman of the car. The woman is buying the car. And the herd is underlined. Please drive her now. I said, look, this is what you're leading yourself to. This is <laughs> the Westerner. He sells his mother, his wife, his daughter. His wife is a star. And she's being mangled on the screen, simulating rape. And they, they enjoy it. You, you enjoy your wife being simulated it's not real rape but you know it's simulated you can see everything about it she's being raped your mother your wife your daughter and you enjoy your wife is a star so sick sick no alhamdulillah praise be to god we haven't come to that sickness yet we muslims we try we try to keep away from it this is your pleasure your privilege we have no right to force you. But we say, you are playing with fire, my child, and you're going to pay the price. You're paying the price now, and you will pay the price. This question that I have here. Wow, 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 wow. That was um, amazing um, questions and answers. Yeah, uh, I mean, Sheikh Ahmed uh, did that, actually tackled it very well. Okay, on the first question, the lady asked about uh, Muslims marrying more than uh, one woman and stuff like that. I mean, uh, the way he did that answer the question it was just amazing because it's, it's there, it's written in the Quran like, and Quran is the only book that actually says marry only one wife even the Bible doesn't say that so it says that marry one wife but if um, you can if, if you can be able to marry four and be able to take care of their needs it's, it's all good you get it, which I mean to them it's not a bad thing it's not it's not a bad thing but at this age and time that we live in today it's really impossible because there's so much going on i'm having four wives sometimes it can be really hectic you get it or just put, putting yourself into such kind of a situation it can be really hectic but some people manage to do that some people don't and um i'm not against that i feel like uh, to them it's it, it really resonates with them because the Quran says so. But um, what about the other religions? You get it? Because like in the Bible, it doesn't mention that we should marry one wife. It's just that um, the Western who came in and say like we should marry one and probably go to church and marry and all those kind of things. I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to say something. But anyway. Uh, yeah, the first question was tackled really well which is fine so the second question was about the, the wearing of the veil and uh, did that actually tackle it very well and i actually conquer with i agree with uh i mean did that i mean come on man you um you know we men are creatures of uh, we are hunters and uh, the moment we see something that is revealing we, 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 we burn inside and we tend to want to see more or probably turn and look on all those kind of things I don't know but um, but again it depends there are men who have their own principles so they cannot turn and look or probably just tear but it burns inside you get it, it burns inside and it, it, it makes you feel like why is she walking like that and you want to want to see that and it's tempting 
that's the word I'm looking for. So, I mean, um, imagine a lady wearing a veil and uh, covering herself and whatnot. She wouldn't even look twice. You, even, you wouldn't even think about uh, having a second gaze or whatnot because he's covered. Sorry, she's covered. She's like fully covered. You get it? So, I, I mean, the veil actually is a good thing. I'm, 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 I'm for that. I'm, I'm, I mean, women should just wear, should cover themselves. Even in the Bible, uh, did that already just talked about the Bible, where um, it says that uh, women should cover themselves and whatnot. Uh, women shouldn't speak in front of the church and all those kind of things. Uh, but I don't know that's what the Bible says and uh, most of the Christians don't practice all that but uh, what can we do everything is written down it's just a matter of following up and trying to you know adhere to the teachings and whatnot but anyway did that actually answer these two questions in a very good manner and I like the way he tried to put in humor and again just make you understand that this is the real deal and whatnot that was really good anyway if you feel like I reacted to this video no better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down the comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about my reaction video or what you feel about this video over here about um, Amadi Dat answering questions about um, about the veil and about um, why Muslims marry like more than four wives and whatnot. Just let us know in the comment section below what do you think. Uh, give us um, what do you think? What do you think? Just let us know in the comment section below. We will be able to you know chop it out together and be able to communicate and find out um, what you think and what you what is your perspective and all those kind of things. And also the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, I'm going to see you. Rather, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.